Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to study in detail about the importance of volatile keyword in embedded applications. Let's get started. So on the screen you can clearly see the same program that we wrote for reading the PC13 push button which is available in the Nuclear F446 RE development board and then turning on the onboard LED which is connected to PA5 of the microcontroller which is available onboard in the same Nucleo F446 RE development board. So the program goes like this whenever the push button is pressed we will be turning on the LED and whenever the push button is in released state it will be turning off the LED. Let me just compile this program and let me just dump this program to my nuclear F446 RE development board and let us try to examine whether the program is working fine or not. The program has been successfully loaded to the nuclear F446 RE microcontroller STM32 F446 RE. Now You can see the nuclear F446 RE is in reset state. So let me just reset the board. And whenever I press the user button B1, you can see the onboard LD2 green LED is lighted up. And whenever I release the push button, the LED is turned off. So the program is working as expected. So now in this video we are just going to study the importance of volatile keyword. So before going to the volatile keyword let me just show you how you can change the optimization level in your Keel Microvision IDE. So optimization level is a kind of optimizing or a self check that is performed by the compiler available in the Keel Microvision IDE. So whenever you increase the optimization level, the Keel Microvision IDE or the compiler will try to reduce all the unwanted segments of the program and it will try to improvise the code quality as well as it will try to improvise the code size. So let me just show you how you can optimize the code. Just click on the options for target and then click on C or C++ tab and in this tab you can see this optimization drop down. So there are four levels of optimization level 0, 1, 2 and 3 by default it will be like level 0. So level 0 means no optimization performed. So whenever you try to write a program in a certain IDE you will not be knowing about the optimization levels of the IDE that has been configured. So you must make sure that your program works in almost all the optimized platforms so let me just demonstrate how this works let me just put it to the level 3 of optimization and then click on ok now when i compile this i am getting zero errors and zero warnings i am just going to dump this program also So I have provided full chip arrays so that uh, no other previous program is available in my microcontroller. So the flash has been successfully loaded to the microcontroller. Now in my hardware, I am just resetting this and when I press on this user push button, you can clearly see the LD2 green LED is not lighted up. So what may be the problem? You can see whenever I press, uh, nothing is happening. So program is not working as expected. So there could be some two possibilities of errors right over here. Whether there could be some error in reading the input status of PC13 or writing to the PA5 onboard LED that is available in nuclear development board. So these are the two possibilities. So coming to the volatile part. So volatile keyword in C language 
just informs the compiler that the variable is capable to be changed by external means. So this could be a variable or memory location etc. So this is the definition of volatile keyword. So whenever you declare and define a particular variable as volatile, it means you are just telling to the compiler that this particular variable is capable of changing through external means. So let me just show you an example that we have already written here in this particular line. We are just reading the status of bit number 13 of IDR register. So this IDR is nothing but a variable right over here in the structure. So we will we know this IDR is just a variable. So when the compiler generates or converts this into assembly language, what it does is for the compiler it is just a variable which will not change unless a programmer changes it so in this line you can clearly see we are not altering anything we are just reading the state of idr bit number 13 using the variable called input state but for the compiler this bit number 13 will not be changed but in actual means this bit number 13 is affected by external force or external hardware so whenever i press the button the pin will become low and we will be getting zero right over here or whenever i press the button we will read high and we will get one right over here this will happen in hardware and as well as in software also so this pin number 13 is affected by external hardware but the compiler assumes this as a static variable which will not be affected unless a programmer changes it so that is why we are getting some problem of reading when the optimization level is increased so first the compiler will assume all the static variables which are not changing to be fixed variables and it will be converting them into such a manner so for changing that we can just write like volatile u int 32 of idr so whenever i configure this idr register with volatile keyword type qualifier this particular idr variable will be continuously monitored meaning that this can be capable of changing by external means so we are just telling the compiler that this idr variable is of type volatile which means this has an effect from external hardware in runtime so that a special monitoring will be provided for this idr register irrespective of the optimization level of the compiler or the IDE. So now when I build this and when I dump the program, I am just performing a full erase so that a previous parts of program is not available. The flash has been successfully loaded. And now coming to our nuclear development board, I'm just resetting the board. And now when I press on the user B1, you can see the onboard LED, green LED is lighted up. And whenever I release, the green LED is turned off. So the expectations is fulfilled. That is whenever I press the button, the LED is lighted up. And whenever I release the button, the LED is turned off. So the program is working fine now without any flaws. So this is how a volatile keyword helps us to monitor a variable which will be changed by external means. So I have just configured all the register structure of GPIO for referral to be volatile, all the registers to be volatile type qualified variables and also I have configured RCC for referral register structure also to be volatile register structure so that each and every register bits available in these registers will be capable of reading irrespective of the optimization level of the program so most often the a register in a microcontroller will be capable of reading and writing or 
read only so it is very very good practice for configuring each and every register as volatile registers inside the peripheral structure of the microcontroller so i hope you learned the importance of volatile keyword with the help of push button interface example in this video so volatile is a keyword very very important keyword which helps us to tell the compiler that a variable or a memory location is capable or it is expected to be changed by external means or external hardware see you in the next video thanks for watching